there is another kind of friendship from the Celtic tradition known as the Anamkara, which means soul friend. An Anamkara is someone to whom you have confessed or made known your inmost being, whose soul light merges with your own. In his book on Celtic wisdom, John O'Donohue says in everyone's life, there is a great need for an Anamkara, a soul friend. In this love, you are understood as you are without mask or pretension. The superficial and functional lies and half-truths of social acquaintance fall away. You can be as you really are. Love allows understanding to dawn, and understanding is precious. When you are understood, you are at home. Understanding nourishes belonging. When you really feel understood, you are free to release yourself into the trust and shelter of another person's soul. Take you, Paul, to have and to hold, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. God. I, Paul, take you, Ashley, I, Paul, take you, Ashley to, be my wife, to be my wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold from, this day forward, 
from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. One of the proudest dads in walking Ashley down the aisle today. I think you will agree she was stunning. Ashley and Paul, may you be blessed with the happiness that grows, with love that lasts forever. May you have a wonderful life together. We wish you enjoyment for today, fulfillment of your hopes and dreams for tomorrow, with much love and happiness always. No way that you could stop me from dreaming. And Ashley, we can honestly say that we couldn't imagine you with anyone other than Paul. You finally found the man that shares in your mantra of never going to bed mad. I'm sure of it that you will have many years of wedded bliss if you keep living by this philosophy. Ashley will never take you, your love, or your friendship for granted. We know that you know this because as we've gotten to know you over the past few years, we know that you too will never take, take her for granted in any way. We've seen your love, commitment, and loyalty to her is unwavering. The passion you both share for the last word, the willingness to throw down no matter what the venue or who's around, lets us know Ashley has met her match. An old gambler once said, you've got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. I want to tell you about an incredible hand that Polly has chosen not only to hold, but to go all in. The king of hearts. Polly, you've got a king-sized heart. You give your friends your heart in times of fun and in times of need. You give your softball teammates your heart and your thumb. You give your heart to family. And now, today, you give your heart to Ashley as you start a family of your own. I'm dreaming of you, dreaming of you. I'm dreaming of you, dreaming of you. Ace of Hearts. It doesn't get any better than that. Let's all stand up and raise our glasses. And cheers to Polly going all in on a perfect hand in marriage. Congratulations, Paul and Ashley. <laughs>